Hi everyone and welcome back to the series where I break down the upgrade system that was shown in the newest gameplay trailer of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is going to be the fifth class in our list, which is the Bounty Hunter class. And let me tell you of what I've seen, this is going to be amazing. If you haven't seen the videos where I broke down the Jedi, Hero, Scavenger and Scoundrel class, go check them out. Their links are in the description down below. And if you like what you see, a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. And maybe you even want to consider subscribing. I would be very happy about that. Now without further ado, let's just start right into the video. In the last video where I broke down the scoundrel class, I showed you an interview that talks about smuggler runs. Wait until you see what I found in this interview. It's in the exact same sentence as last time, and it says, Bounty hunter missions in which you go to a planet to seek a character hidden on another planet. In the last video, I said that this game is going to have everything. I take that back. Now it has everything. My favorite bounty hunter is Din Djarin, and I cannot wait to go on those bounty hunter missions with them just to tell people that I can bring them in cold or that I can bring them in warm. It will be so much fun. But before I get any further into that, let's first start naming all the bounty hunters that we can see in the character menu. Here we have Aura Sings, Bazin Natal, Boba Fett, Bosk, Charybdis, and Dengar. We can of course not forget about Jango Fed, and as I said earlier, Din Djarin is also going to be available in a DLC pack. Those are of course not all the bounty hunters we will be able to play in the game, but because most of them are not confirmed yet, I will stick with the ones we know for sure for now. Now let's start breaking down the perks of the bounty hunter class. And here is where I want to talk about the article again. When we look at the first perk, we can see part of a bounty hunter helmet with its antenna. I think this will help us in the bounty hunter missions where we can use the antenna as radar to find the people we need to find. I don't know exactly how it's going to work because maybe by upgrading our radar will get even bigger. I, I just can't believe that this is happening. I'm so excited for these bounty hunting missions. And maybe when we have fully upgraded this, we will even be able to find the sneakiest of the sneaky. I think the second perk must have something to do with the bounty hunter missions as well. It obviously looks like a wanted poster with credits underneath. And I know in the last video where I broke down the scoundrel class, I didn't recognize the credit icon on the coins, but I I recognize it here, okay? Maybe by upgrading this, we will be able to take on even bigger jobs, or maybe the amount of credits we get for the job increases. I'm just curious on whether we're going to find those jobs all over the universe, if we have to go to specific places to take those jobs on, or if people are even going to come to us. Either way will work, I think. I mean, it doesn't change the concept of it. And to be honest, whatever it is, I cannot wait to play it. I think the most likely thing is going to be that we will find those wanted places on buildings, on other things, maybe even on vehicles. And when we walk up to those posters, we can take on the jobs and use our antenna to find all of those different people that we need to find all over the universe. But I don't really know. It can also work in a completely different way, but we'll only find out once we actually play the game. When we come to the third perk, it is not as obvious as the first two. However, I can obviously see that it's a gun with ammunition coming out of it, whether it's bullets or whatever you want to call it, I don't I don't really care. But is that really what it means though? Is that really us shooting a gun and just ammunition is coming out? I mean, we can see three bullets coming out of that gun. So does that mean that we will be able to upgrade that perk and be able to shoot multiple bullets at once? Or maybe it even means that by shooting a gun, this bullet will be able to track our enemy and fly after it even when they run away. I mean, we've seen that with Boba Fett's bullets out of his knee. Though, with a gun, I don't think we've ever seen that. So I think my first speculation of us upgrading this perk and being able to shoot more bullets is going to be more effective overall because it will eliminate multiple enemies at once. And I think that sounds very, very cool. When we take a look at this shot and compare it to the fourth perk, we can see so many similarities. It's obviously a shock grenade, the one that Boba Fett is holding right here. And the little thingy with a star in the middle of the shock grenade is obviously what's going on above the heads of those enemies that we shock with a grenade. In this perk, through upgrading it, we either will have multiple bombs to throw or the radius of the shock wave will get even bigger. Either way, I'm super curious on where we will be able to use those shock grenades and whether they only work on people or also droid and vehicles. And as we can see here in the trailer, Boba Fett throws the grenade to shock the people around him to walk past them without being attacked. I think that's a super cool mechanic and I think it will help us a lot in like getting by people without having to spend multiple minutes of fighting them before we can move on in the story. 
the possibilities seem endless here. And I think before we have the game in our hands, we won't be able to find out any other way than playing it. I have to say this class was so fun to break down. My heart is still very, very full when I think about those Bounty Hunter missions. And I can't wait to finally hold this game in my hands. What is the perk you will be updating first once you unlock the Bounty Hunter class? Mine is probably gonna be either the first or the second one, depending on what I have to do to play those Bounty Hunter missions as soon as possible. I mean, I don't know if it's still a secret or if I already made it more than obvious. Yes. The scavenger class has been kicked off its throne and the bounty hunter class is now my new favorite. And I think it's more than deserved. We still have four classes to go, so it's not final yet, but I can tell you one thing. It's gonna be very, very hard to kick this class off its throne. I also have to say that the bounty hunter class icon is my favorite of them all, so that definitely helped while making my decision. Of course, it doesn't have anything to do with the class in general, if I would take that out, it would still be my favorite, but it's also just a very nice bonus to run around with your favorite class that even has a great icon. I mean, come on. We now added one more class to our ranking. Don't forget to write your updated ranking in the comment section down below. I'm super curious to find out whether the bounty hunter is also on the top of your list, whether it's in the middle or maybe even at the bottom, which is totally fair. The next class I'll be breaking down is going to be the villain class and of what I've seen it's probably going to be the most complicated so far. If you don't want to miss it subscribe and activate the notification bell so you can always stay up to date whenever I upload my next video. That was it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll be back very very soon with my next video. Until then, bye!